The sixth annual New York City Public School Film Festival kicks off this Wednesday, May 15th. Nearly 130 short films were submitted by students from 39 middle and high schools across the five boroughs. Only 30 were selected. And joining me now to talk more about it is the Commissioner of the Mayor's Office of Media and Entertainment, Pat Swinney Kaufman, and two students who have films in the festival, Sabanya and Audrey. Welcome. <laughs> Congratulations, by the way, getting thank into the festival. You. That's amazing. Commissioner, tell us more about this film festival. This is a wonderful partnership that's been going on for six years between the Department of Education and the Mayor's Office of Media and Entertainment. And it's a great opportunity for us to celebrate the really amazing talent of the young students who, in many cases, film students that are growing up in New York City. There are, we're going to screen the films. There are panel show with the professionals so that they get the chance to meet mm -hmm. the professionals uh, and a career festival. So it's a wonderful opportunity that the mayor has brought to us and allowed us to provide to open doors for these <laughs> young talented women to uh, get into the industry. That's right and Sabanya and Audrey so you both go to high school for media and communications right? Yes. So you both have films in the PSA category. Mm -hmm. Tell me about them. Sabanya let's start with you. My film in my head is a short film about anxiety and depression and how mm. that it could affect our youth especially teenagers. Wow Audrey. My film is about how smiles can mask her mental health concerns. Um, it's this girl, basically, she's on top of all her grades. She's very happy. And a lot of people look up to her, but because of that, she feels this pressure to be happy all the mm. time. And it sends her to a spiral of depression and loneliness that no one really sees. And that is so true. People mask so mm -hmm. easily. So both of those, the, what your films are about is so interesting. Commissioner, how does the festival program um, prepare students for this film and, and, you know, this industry, TV industry? Well, they've been, all of the films were carefully selected in the first place and given, you know, great consideration. Uh, and I think it's really exciting that two from the same school uh, <laughs> have, have created topics, films on topics that really matter to young people, which gives parents and the public a chance to see what are the topics mm -hmm, that matter mm -hmm. to young people. And in this case, they both cared very deeply about mental health issues. Sibanya and Audrey, what does it mean to both of you to be in this festival? And what do you hope others learn from your work? It means the world to me because me and my crew spent so much time working on this film and to see how far it's gotten, it's amazing. We really achieved something. And I want people to learn that no matter what's going on inside your head, there are people out there who relate and understand mm -hmm. and can help you. Wow, couldn't have said it better. How about you? <laughs> um, I think it means a lot to me because I never saw myself as a filmmaker and being selective really boosts my self-confidence and made me realize that I have so much more talent than I realize. And for what I want others to learn from my film, I just want a lot of people to be more considerate of mm. others' feelings because you really never know what someone is going through. That is so true. And also to not be afraid to be vulnerable because in vulnerability there is power. Oh my gosh. Okay, <laughs> both of you, we could just listen to <laughs> you so, so wise. Thank you all for being here. And Commissioner, thank you too. Thank you. Thank you for thank having you. us. The short films will be available for viewing online starting Wednesday at the address. We're going to put it up on your screen.